Destination Church. It is Sunday, best day of the week. My name is Corey, and this is my beautiful wife, Molly. Good morning, DC family. We are so excited that you are joining us either in person or on our DC app or Facebook Live. Absolutely. Let us know where you're watching from this morning. You know, on this video, comment. You know, we have so many people watching from on everywhere. Yes, like, share, comment, so that way we get our service out, especially on our social media platforms. Yep. We know that today is going to be an awesome day, and we want you and all of your friends to be a part of it. Absolutely, and if you are online, there is a connect card in the link below. It tells you a little bit, you know, give a little bit of information about you. At the bottom of that, there is a prayer request section, yes, and of so course, important. we want you to fill that out. If you're praying for something you need, you know, a specific need in your life, you know, our pastoral staff actually lays hands on those prayer, prayer request sections every single week. So just know we are praying with you and for you for whatever needs you're needing. So. Yes, and if you're in the building, that's going to be on the seat back in front of you. Yep. And you can place that in the offering bucket when mm -hmm. uh, we take up offering. Yep. Or you can even take it out to our Connect Center um, and talk to someone specifically about that prayer request yep. or the card in general. Absolutely. And if it's your first time, when you fill that out, you take it to the table. We have a gift just for you. So. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Well, we've got a lot of information we to share this morning. we got a lot going on. Got a lot going on. So July the 10th, not July the 10th, September the 4th, <laughs> we have Next Step Sunday. Yes, and two Sundays. In two Sundays. In two weeks from now, we have Next Step Sunday. So what that is, of course, we got baptism. Yes. We got awesome. growth track. And also, we have another special thing. We got student takeover it's gonna be going awesome. on in the growth track. Pastor Dylan and Pastor Tanner and uh, Taylor all the leaders over there, they got a lot going on, you know, just pouring into your kid, pouring into your student. It's so amazing. And we're just going to, yes. they're going to take over, grow track. Absolutely. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Parents, so. you know, you want your kid involved and giving them that kind of push to get involved in a leadership role is so vital. I know me and you started our leadership roles yep. when we were in youth. So student takeover, our next growth track, mm -hmm. it's going to be awesome. However, if you're an adult, still join, yes. um, and that is where you can learn more about the church, mm -hmm. where you can become a part of a team. Um, we'll learn more about small groups, right. which speaking of small groups, yep. what's going on in the yep. lobby? Absolutely. It helps you know a little bit more about the church. Pastor Wayne and Miss Ginger, they'll give their vision of how you know they run the church and how everything goes on here, and it helps you just kind of pick the team that you need to, you know, you feel need to be on. Yes, there's you know, also going to be, be the graders or whatever. Sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> there's also going to be a catered meal and free child care. Yep, absolutely. So no excuses not to be there. Yes. And then of course we got baptism and we just know that that's that's always so vital in your walk with God. Of course we know it's a outward expression of what God's doing inside. And so it's going to be amazing every single month and I I just say this every single time. We haven't at least baptized one person. So God's definitely moving in baptism. So if you recently gave your life to God and you want to take that next step, make sure you sign up at DestinationChurch.tv. Awesome, yep. awesome. So I was just saying, there's mm -hmm. something going on in the lobby, Corey. Yep. I mean, it's busy this mm -hmm. morning. We had to get here early. I was a little tired, <laughs> but I walked in and everyone's like, good morning, good morning, good yep. morning. So what's going on in the lobby? We have Connect Day today. And what that is is everything life groups. Whatever life group you feel you need to be a part of, we have it here. Yes. We have over 80 life groups going on this semester, so God is definitely going to move in some people's life. So if you're here and you say, hey, I need to get signed up for a life group, we have all kinds of tables, all kinds of booths, all kinds of life group leaders out there yes. of all ages, from kids all the way to the trailblazers. Absolutely. Come on, trailblazers. They, they absolutely kill it <laughs> every single time. So, so if you're here, you see everything going on, don't get freaked out. We're just super excited about life groups. Yes, and if yes. you're watching online, you can still join a group. Um, mm -hmm. If you can go on to DestinationChurch.tv, mm -hmm. click the Join a Group tab, or if you're on the app, there's a link straight to Join a Group. Yep, so make sure if you're here or if you're online, find a group that fits you, you know, whether you're married, young adult, come on. Hey, rep we're representing. Representing the young adults, yes. you know, it, whether it be outreach. Yep. You know, we serve on those teams, so we're a little, we're a little biased about that. They're the best. Yeah, they're... <laughs> They're the best of us, but, but yeah, so if you feel like you need to be a part of a life group, make sure you sign up for one, whether you're online or yes. on campus. And our and motto is what? Everything is better when we do it together. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. So if you're here in the building and you see someone with one of these blue shirts mm -hmm. on, that means that they are leading a group, mm -hmm. so they could probably direct you wherever your questions, wherever yep. you need to go. 
Um, so you're welcome to ask anybody with these blue shirts. Absolutely. It's going to be so amazing. But we have a we got a big thing coming up. Uh, yeah, and it doesn't have anything to do yeah, with you. It doesn't have nothing to do with the guys. <laughs> so, guys, we're out of this. But Ladies, Flourish 2022 is now upon it's us. It's going to be It amazing. is three weeks out. Speaking of that, the late or the the more you get to the day that it's happening, the price does go up. Mm -hmm. So we want you to go ahead and get signed up yep. through DestinationChurch.tv or through our app. We want you to be a part of it. We want your girl gang to be a part of it. Yep. I mean, I can't wait. Yep. So our guest speaker is going to be Karen Wheaton, mm -hmm. and we've even got a guest worship leader, Anna Come Golden, Come on. who was with us last year. So if yep. you were part of Flourish last year, you know she is phenomenal. I've been listening to her album, so I can worship with her. Yep, absolutely. But we are so excited. Yep. We cannot wait to see you there, ladies. Yep, ladies. We know that y'all are just going to absolutely rock the house. You know, Molly, Molly says to me all the time, "Ladies just do it best." We do. They do it better. I can't. I can't. You no, know, you can't, I can't even argue compete, with that. So, so don't even. So it's all good or whatever. But ladies, make sure you sign up for that, and uh, it's going to be amazing. Absolutely. And, and also. September the second, we got a big, big event coming yes, up. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So all of you know, we just purchased a Dream Center in Mobile. So we are going to have a outreach movie night. Cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. So if you want to be a part of that, of course, sign up to serve at DestinationChurch.tv. We know that people's life is going to be changed. Yes. You know, I know we're at, in the at the movies. You know, we're going to show a movie over there. Love on the and people just, of just Maysville. Love on the people. We're going to feed them. We're going to love on them. You know, we're going to serve them the best way we can and everything. So it's going to be amazing. If you want to be a part of it, make sure you sign up to help serve with us. Yes. And yep. speaking of movies, we are still in our At The Movie series. Yep. I know that Pastor Wayne has an amazing message today. Mm -hmm. Not even sure of the movie, but I know I cannot wait. Yes. It's Remember the Titans. So. Oh, well, Remember the Titans. Yep. So. Remember the Titans. It's going to be amazing. We know that Pastor Wayne has a message prepared. He pulls out uh, biblical truths coming out of the movie. So make sure if you're watching with us online, you got your popcorn, you're in your PJs and you're on your couch and your bed, wherever you're watching from, you know, make sure you're ready to worship with us. And if you're in-house, we cannot wait to worship with you. We love y'all.
Good morning, good morning. Come on, can we stand on our feet all over this place? Has anybody come to worship Jesus in the room this morning? Come on, I said, has anybody come to worship Jesus in this place? Holy Spirit, you're welcome in the room. We're here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to give you the glory because you're worthy of it all, Jesus. We love you. Come on, put your hands together like this. Hey, come on, come on, come on, let's sing. I'm marching to battle, no doubt in my mind that my God is with me and victory is mine. I dance in the shadow of my enemy because God is my champion and he fights for me. Oh, God is my champion and he fights for me.
you believe it this morning, lift up a shout of praise to Jesus.
feel like somebody needs to declare that over their life this morning that every valley be raised up and every mountain be made low that in every situation that you're going through that there is a lion inside of you because you have Jesus on your side that there is a lining inside of you and God's calling up a generation this morning that's going to let out a roar that's going to declare that there is a way being made that there is a God that can create a way where there seems to be no way can you just lift your hands in this house and can we just begin to speak life over every situation can we just begin to speak life over for everything that we go through and we say God we just worship you this morning oh valley be raised up and oh mountain be made low say oh valley be raised up come on and oh mountain be come on let's lift it up say oh church we say hell hell lion of judah let it roar let the lion roar we say hell hell lion come on your voices let the lion roar in hell hell lion of judah let the lion roar can we give him some praise in this house Touching every so I 
worship you. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are here. Healing. You're healing every heart. So I worship you. Because I worship you.
praise. Let's sing Waymaker. in front of us now becomes a valley the low places become high again come on he sets everything in order so this morning i want us to just lift our hands all over this place father god do what only you can do we welcome you in the room this morning we believe in you you are a miracle worker you're a promise keeper your way maker and even when i don't see it you're working even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. Come on, let's declare. And even when I don't see it, you're working. And even, even when, when I don't feel it, you're you working. never stop. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. time can we lift our hands towards heaven holy spirit we're not gonna just move past this moment because i'm believing right now holy spirit that people are being healed in the atmosphere right now in jesus name god that blind eyes are being opened in jesus name because we know that you're a way maker we know that when we can't see what the future holds but god you have provision for our life when we live for you. Holy Spirit, have your way in this moment. Holy Spirit, we're thankful for all that you're doing. Your goodness, your grace, your mercies that are brand new every day. God, we're thankful that mental health right now in Jesus' name be healed. God, we give you all the glory and all the praise. You are a promise keeper and a way maker. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Come on, and everybody said, can we give Jesus the biggest hand clap of praise? Come on. Come on. 
man. I don't know about y'all, but I've been blessed with that worship set. Can we let our worship team how, how much we love them? Incredible. But hey, as you're being seated, go ahead and turn to someone and welcome them to church this morning. And what we love to do in this moment is we like to honor our first time guests right here on campus and watching for the very first time. So DC family, can we give it up for every first time guest with us right here and online? So glad you joined us for church this morning. If you are a first time guest, we are so glad that you're here with us. We have what we call a connect card and it's this card right here. You can find it in the seat in front of you or if you're watching online, we have a link that you can fill out. Take it, I promise you it's a hassle-free guarantee card. We just wanna send you a letter from our pastor, welcome you you to church. Also, you can take this card out into the lobby after service and we have a gift just for you. Incredible. And hey, we love to take a moment right now and continue in worship and our giving. Come on, who's thankful to give this morning? We have the opportunity yes. to give back to God what was His in the first place. But what we like to say is if you're a guest with us, we like to say that this service is our gift just to you. So there is no obligation to give there. But they're going to throw some ways that you can give on the screen behind me. And I want to share a verse that comes out of Luke 19, 16, and 17. And it says, the first servant reported, Master, I invested your money and made 10 times the original amount. Well done, the king exclaimed. You are a good servant. You have been faithful with little I entrusted to you. So you will be governor of 10 cities as your ward. And I love this parable of the 10 servants because the king was it concerned about how much they were giving the king? The king was concerned about what they were doing with, with what they were being given. And I like to take a moment and let you know that, you know, we're not just giving back to a church. We're not just giving because it's our part. We're not just giving to do it. We are investing into the lives of this community. We're investing into the next generation. We are investing into all that the church has to offer missions overseas missions right here locally and so we ask you to ask god this morning god what do you have us to give in this moment why don't you pray with me dc family god we love you we're thankful for this opportunity to give we just pray that you bless your people as they give in jesus name and everybody said amen amen if you're sitting on the right side of your row you can grab that giving container onto your own pass it down and while you give, we just have a couple announcements for you. We have so much happening we here do. at Come DC. On. So where are my ladies at in the house? Flourish is three weeks away. Seats are filling up so quickly. And so we want you immediately after service, meet us out in the lobby. We yeah. have a table. We would love to answer your questions, sign you up, invite some friends with you. And lastly, men. You can sign up to serve the women Come on with this that. night. And so you can go online and register as well to serve. We're so excited for what God's going to do at Flourish. Yes, we are. And hey, we have DC Kids Unlimited Interest Meeting coming up August 28th. Come on, who's excited yes. about the DC Kids Unlimited, sir, that's coming upon us? So excited about that. So you can register for that interest meeting at destinationchurch.tv. And see, last but not Come least, on. it's Connect Day. Let's go. Is anyone excited about life groups? Show them your shirt. Come on, come on. Everything Got the trip on. is better when we do it together. This is our motto. And you may be sitting there saying, what is life groups? As soon as you walked in today, you should have received a brochure with all the type of life groups that we have, all the categories. And then in this brochure is a card that looks like this. It tells you what life groups are. There's a QR code. You can register this way. Or we have a team that is ready to meet you after service, connect with you, answer your questions, and sign you up for a group of your choice. And the great thing is we believe that God's going to move in this semester That's of life right. groups more than ever before, and you don't want to miss out. And so this is simply where you can find community, but growing your relationship with the Lord through discipleship. And so sign up today. It's going to be the best semester it, yet. Hey, I'm leading a middle school football group, guys. All so the hey, middle schoolers. Come join my group, middle school guys. I'm excited about that. But we like to say for our online community, at this moment, you can transition over to our DC app at DC. And for everyone watching Facebook, you can transition over to the website, Destination Church. 
Facebook.tv. But what we like to do is take a moment and remind you, no moving around during service to limit all distractions so everyone can receive what God has in store for everyone. But hey, are you ready for the word this morning? Before the word, check this video out. Come on, one more time. Let the Jesus that you serve know that you love him so much. I love this moment. Today is Connect Day. And I would just like to tell you that we believe in the model of the New Testament church. The New Testament church worshiped like this, but they also did life groups together in the houses, in the homes of different people. And today we're going to talk about and what we're about to watch. So, so let me clarify something. If you're a guest here, uh, this is a very unique, creative way of spreading the gospel. Uh, don't do this every Sunday, of course, but we have seen in the last month over 70 people give their life to Jesus Christ. Can somebody give God a hand clap for that? It's all about souls. And so this morning, we're going to watch and be a part of of a movie that I really love. Remember the Titans. Come on, somebody. We, we just went into uh, high school football started this past weekend, and I got to give a shout out. We, we, we represent a lot of high schools here, but I got to give a shout out to our Spartans. They did well this weekend and different.